Nice. That's Friday night sound. <laughs>
I don't know. Right. I think it's a great no, contract. Yeah. Well, we're going to lose we're going to lose uh Stripling. We're going to lose Roark next year. We're going to lose Robbie Ray. Mm -hmm. We're losing three guys. Now, obviously, I don't really plan on having them past 2021 unless some, for some reason one of them just absolutely blows up next year. Has a great Sorry, year. Sorry, what were the you said Stripling, Stripling Roark. Roark and Ray. Stripling Roark. Only and one Ray. I could see of those guys is Stripling. Right, right. Okay, so but for example, if one guy does blow up and sure. you know maybe six out, but regardless, our rotation then thins down to to Ryu and Pearson. The only guy is really slotted in right now. So like, wouldn't it have been nice to have another guy? It would like, have been it would have been nice. It would have it would have been, you know what I mean? But we didn't get Walker, and some of the concerns, not like on why we didn't get Walker, is that our budget, our budget is been exceeded. Mark Shapiro did say during George Springer's uh, initial conference call that their big heavy, their all their heavy, heavy lifting, lifting is now done yeah. this season. The pumping now, was done. Now, do we consider Walker a heavy lift? Or is he more of a, maybe like a middle bell? Maybe like you're not feeling like well, you want to rip those well, biceps, but you want to like... What is Marcus Semien? toning in? Like <laughs> Marcus what's, Semien? Yeah, what is that? I mean, I think anywhere close to 20 million... AV, AAV is, is a heavy Pretty lift. heavy melt. What heavy is lift. Kirby Yates? What's he getting paid again? I, please remind me. Oh, my God. Please now, look it up. This is like, where we need it. Yeah, it's yeah. been so long. Hold we, up, hold up. Hey, Siri, what does Kirby Yates get paid? Don't fail us, Siri. Does she know? Um, use thumbs. Earnings. Uh, come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Fill me in. Let's get paid. Someone's, someone's in the live stream right now. Yeah. Live, live chat. Oh, he gets it. paid right. Uh, um, of course, he gets paid five and a half. Oh, oh, yeah, nothing. Okay, so that was that's a light lift. That's light a light lift. lift. So that's, that's a light lift. You know, and and Simeon's still a pretty. Simeon's heavy. a decent. So I, I think lift. that the He's answer like a, is that this is a middle a medium, lift, right? A middle, a middle lift. lift. So maybe they were done middle lifting. They're they're done heavy and middle lifting. Mm. Um, now I know that we. Will, I definitely wanted to bring this up because this kind of goes all the way back from when we talked about Marcus Simeon. The initial signing is mm -hmm. like okay, we added another position player for eighteen million. And like one of the final comments there was, well, we could have used that money to get pitching, but this, it wasn't over yet. Free agency was still going on. We still had hopes to get another, mm -hmm. you know, doesn't pitcher. look like that's going to be happening. Doesn't? Though. It's not going to happen. I don't think we're going to get Odorizzi at this point. I think our rotation is set in stone, and we'll talk a bit of that later. Uh -huh. But now that that's happened, how, how do you feel about the Marcus Semien signing? Okay, well, uh, um, you know, I think that if if it was, if it was like directly correlated the fact that we signed Marcus Simeon and then we didn't get Walker. Yeah. And we capped up. Then I think that I don't like it because yeah. not only are you taking a spot away from Randall Gritchick or Rowdy Telez, both of whom have 30 Homer upside. Um, but you're also miss missing out on a position of need. I also want to touch on with Walker because a, a couple people were talking about his uh, his peripheral stats, like his saber metrics, basically, you right. know, his expected numbers, all of that. And I looked at them, and they're not great. But no, one thing yeah. one thing that I noticed about him was that they've never been great. Right. And throughout his whole career, he's been averaging like roughly half a point expected ERA higher than his actual ERA. So what does Half that mean? Half a point higher what does that mean? than his actual <laughs> ERA. So, I mean, I think what it means is he's either gotten lucky his entire career, mm. which I think in the sample size is unlikely, or, you know, this guy is doing something right. And, and I trust my eyeballs more than I trust a math equation telling me what I think he should be doing. You know, right. it's like I trust what he's actually what doing. What he's actually been doing. Right, right, you know, right. like when, when somebody's um, like Tom Brady, for instance, when his career finishes, nobody's going to be like, oh, well, his expected number said he'd win two Super Bowls. Right. No, because he won seven. Of um, course, that's Tom Brady. And that's far, a totally far different. different far, person. far different. Um, um, but I, but I know what, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. And like, I get that. Um, you know, yeah, I, you know, that. I guess that makes sense. So maybe you know? my question to you is then, mm. um, do you think that the management saw those numbers and because because there's a couple options here. You, yeah. It's either it's either we were over budget and we were like uh, like we just we literally cannot afford ten right. more million dollars, or they said, well, actually, like we just don't think that this guy is worth ten million. I don't think they saw Walker and said we don't like this guy, or else they wouldn't have traded him for him in the first place. You know what I mean? They wouldn't because they've said and he was you know dominant what I mean? when they got him. He exactly, could've, he could have only gone up in their mind. Exactly, exactly. So I don't think that's the reason. I think it just comes down to the fact that we literally hit our budget limit. 
you know, and, and then we couldn't afford another pitcher. So, you know, then I was thinking in my mind, it's always been the plan for the Blue Jays to trust and trade for all these young starting pitching prospects. We've been doing that for the last two years. We've been, you know, Anthony Kay, we got, we drafted TJ Zoic, right? We have SWR in our system coming up. We have Nate Pearson. So SWR, nice. Yeah, I know. I, Simeon, Simeon to would, him as that. Before. I always see it in the comments. I'm like, ah, that, that's a, a lot easier to say. SWR, swear. Um, so I think that the management has always had this plan B in the back of their mind that they were going to go out and just get the best players, George Springer. They were able to get Marcus Simeon, which they do highly believe in, and we're going to have to see how he does. Mm -hmm. But And then they, the, what they can do, once they got those guys, they can fall back knowing that the back half of the rotation will be a competition because they have incredible depth. Now, they're not all-star caliber proven guys, of course, but that's what happens when you develop a team. This, this The rotation is still developing. Mm. Our, our lineup is the rebuild's done in our lineup. Our rotation is still developing. Yeah. And I think this that's what the plan was. Yeah, you need, and, and it, that's what it's going to come down to, dude, because like we need some breakouts. We need some mm. people to say that, hey, over here, me... I have a ceiling that's actually really good. Yeah. I have a ceiling that's all-star. Yeah. Because right now, I look at it, and, and I look at Rourke, and I look at Ray, and I look at Mats, and, and some of our other guys, and don't get me wrong, they've done that. You know, Ray was dominant in a couple years ago. Rourke has been dominant in a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. They've hit those ceilings, but I don't know if they still have them now. I think they're bridges. That's it. You know, that's what they are. They are literal bridges until these the young guys, guys can, come up. can figure it out. And once they do that, and once those contracts leave, now we have more space. Maybe, you know, I, someone told me that the free agent class next year isn't as deep. I think I've seen a couple guys that I would actually I, like. Well, I, okay, one guy on the mm. Mets, uh, Thor. You know, there a you guy go. who was on our team there previously. You like, there you go. I know there's definitely good pitchers that would definitely fill in our rotation that are available. Um, but yeah, like I, like Ray Rourke and, and Stripling, those are bridges. They're going to get us over the hump because, you know, I always like to say we're still ahead of schedule. You know, we're way ahead of schedule. Our lineup is way ahead of schedule. Hey, hold up. Shh, for one sec. Yeah, you, only if we were sponsored. Any wait, beer wait, companies? Wait, wait. <laughs> wait, I just want them to hear this. Okay, okay. Nice. That's Friday night <laughs> sound. That's a Friday night sound. <laughs> yeah. Uh, any beer companies out there that want to sponsor us, you can contact BJT Podcast <laughs> Contact at gmail.com. Um, Honestly, guys, we'd be your like best. <laughs> we would we would be like, yeah, I for would sure. do so much uh, for you. <laughs> <laughs> literally no we're totally open we're super easy to get along with super chill you know monkey knife fight we had a great time talking to them we're flexible like super flexible we'll, like like if you guys want to give us a lager a pilsner <laughs> an ipa i'll like, try anything I'll, really I'll i'm ready what, to sell i'll drink whatever yeah. you want <laughs> no seriously man <laughs> literally i i don't want to say it because you yo don't you know what it. one day um <laughs> <laughs> what, what? One day, I kind of want to have a Blue Jays Today beer. Oh, yeah. We brew our own beer. That'd be fucking elite. Yo, yo, one of the, I'm not going to say their name, um, but you know the the winery that um, mm -hmm. they, they bottle. There's a winery near us, guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they make, uh, they label their own wine bottles. Maybe we should just get it, just do Blue Jays Today. You'd like get a wine and then that'd be yeah. perfect for the wine on wine. That would be perfect get, if we don't uh, get a if sponsor. If we don't get a sponsor. Yeah, because right now, guys, yeah. we're looking for a sponsor for our wine on yeah. Unwind, um, to, to cut, so we can try new wines. Yeah. You know, it yeah, makes yeah. sense. It, it seems sense. like a perfect advertisement. Exactly. Button. But if not, then we should just make our own wine. We should. And like, on, like actually, put your label like, here. Oh my God! What if we made the label? Put your wine here. Like, or just like sponsor <laughs> us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> guys, we're not hiding anything back. I mean, let's be real. <laughs> For those who are like hardcore fans to see our Instagram, like we literally like work all the time, and it's like we just want to get, we just want to make money off this. So this I could be our hate job. my job. Oh, uh, it's just so unnecessary. It, 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 it's just it's just for money. It's, it's just, just so money. I can live, bro. It's just so I, it's uh, so I like, can live and do this. Literally, you know, it's it. like so if this could be paying for living, mm -hmm. it's like it's paying for living and this and I'm having more fun. Yes. And I don't have to go to work. Oh. And this podcast would it have would, been done like 10 hours literally ago. Literally would have been done by like before noon. 
Yeah. Like, seriously. It literally, oh. it, we would have had this. We would have done this. Like, done. everyone would be, like, we'd be just. I, I, Guys, promo code today, Jay's Monkey Knife Fight. Check it out in the description. Oh, completely devolved right. for right. the topic. <laughs> right. Let, let's, let's bring it back. And so, so. Now, now let's mm. think about. We talked a little bit about I the Jays. I did a spilly. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it's a, if you were sponsored, you know, you could be like, mm, "It's so good," yeah. but I can't. I just gotta keep drinking it. I've only had one beer, guys. I'm actually like not. Yeah, you know, no. we're just the... we're just excited. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let's go back to the Jays. Um, yes, yeah, so obviously the rotation is not championship caliber. We all know this. It's honestly probably below average. However. If we do, now that we have a lot of depth in this position with a lot of guys who haven't really proven anything, the bright side is that Montoya said that it's a wide open competition in the back of the rotation. It's wide open. Well, here's, so, here's the thing, bro. Mm -hmm. It's like we have like eight question marks right now. That can play now. I think one of them has to be exactly. an exclamation point. Exactly. Now, yeah. now we have a, a spot open, we, and like, like probably like six of them are like you know, they commas. Might, one yeah, of them's yeah. a period, but one of them could, could be, be an, an exclamation. Exactly. Point. And we have four guys locked in: Ryu, Ray, Pierce, and Roark. But we have a fifth spot, and arguably, there's been talk of maybe even a sixth spot in the rotation, mm. right? Little, little. There's Ryu it, likes his rest. Yeah, Ryu likes his rest. We could be filled in with K or Stripling, or maybe one. Maybe if K has some bad, bad innings, maybe it's Zoik now. Mm -hmm. Whoever wants to take that role, it's open for the taking. Yeah, I mean, I think that that is now the storyline of spring training. Yes, it because is. Because who's gonna do the best in the next four weeks? You are going to get the opportunity yep. at a major league level now yep. to 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 prove that you can do this. So if somebody yep. comes out and they start firing strikes and doing good shit, they start and just dominating. Just dominating. It's like you're going to be the first guy up in the major leagues. Can you continue that when it actually counts? When yeah. it matters? Absolutely. You know. Absolutely. Who's the guy that you have your eyes on the most? To, to maybe break out on this squad. Yeah, and I'm, uh, I'll answer that question. I'm not going to count Stripling or Mats in this because they're a little bit older. I'm going to look at some of the unknowns. Thornton, I don't think I don't think he's going to break he's, out. I, He'd be okay. His ceiling's kind of capped. Um, <laughs> it would be it would be for me Anthony K. Zoik, and then maybe midway through the season he's not going to come up right away because of playing time or service time. Mm -hmm. uh, but SWR is definitely going to get a chance. He's probably I'm, my number one. Yeah, he, he's not going to come up right away. He's going to be midseason, but like to start the year, I would go. Uh, I'd go either K or Zoic. It might be K. Honestly, I think they really like K. That's the guy they traded Stroman for. Yeah. So I think that's what that would be. They my are go. both truly like you know? when you guys look at their stats. On, like honestly, check their stats out. I don't know them off the top of my head, but these guys have had a combined innings of like maybe fifty or sixty. Yeah, it's in, very in their tiny. entire career. Like it's it is truly the definition of a question mark dart throw like we're, right. we're just like maybe these guys could hit they have you know like yeah people were high at them at one point right so maybe they are right yeah and so, yeah, yeah yeah no the, and, and people like in in triple a like you know case had a great triple a career um he you know these guys all they know is that they're prospects you drafted them in a certain round. Like Zoic's our first overall, not nah, yeah, our first um, round pick mm -hmm. uh, from our previous year. So that's all they have. So and we only know what they are until they get a shot. And now you have a shot. You got, now yeah. you no, have the, the, the shot. Like, it's literally like the window is open, boys. Yeah, it's uh, time to capitalize. So shout out to all those boys. Zoic, K, Merriweather. And you know what? Stripling, Matt's chat with Thornton. Like you boys can definitely like get a shot. Hatch, you know, like all you guys, best of luck getting that last spot. I, you know. Best man wins. Honestly, we need it. It now. is. Yeah, well, we do. We do. We yeah. need that competition because, like you said, this rotation is not a championship caliber rotation. Nope. Nope. Um, a championship I, caliber lineup, though. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, and <laughs> I think I think that's why my initial reaction of not getting Walker was like, what are yeah. you doing? <laughs> because it's, it's, because yeah. if Walker was to hit his upside... We might be able we, to compete in the in the at a at a postseason level. I think we'd be able to level. compete. So I don't think it would still be. I wouldn't be championship yet, but it'd be competitive. Well, let's you know just what I mean? let's just say okay, because he gets paid he gets paid ten million a year. I'm predicting um, for next year if he was on the Blue Jays, I would have predicted that Walker has a, a stat line of roughly 160 to 180 innings pitched. 
with an ERA of a, anywhere between 3.3 to 3.8. That's that would be his like he's he's doing it, you know what I mean? I think that I I really think that that's what he like in 2017 mm-hmm. he had a 3.49 ERA and that was the last season and that was for about yeah. 160 that was before innings his Tommy John. before his Tommy John, you know? Right. Um so and then last year we saw what he did last yeah. year, very good, kind of like, continued at the, at right. that same level. So I think that you That's, know a three I think and he's a half, got a good chance to do that. You know, I could see reality where he where again he pitches exactly. four point four for you sure. Know what I mean, but it's like we could also see the reality where he pitches two point seven, right? Because that's a ceiling now. He right. did it last year, and then if he did that. With Ryu doing exactly what he should do, like pitching in the like upper twos, maybe lower threes. Yeah. Um, and then then that's kind of it. Like, you, and then you got to hope for Pearson to break out. You got to hope for which we you know? already are hoping for. Yeah, anyways. Like, so either way, it's like the the, the rotation isn't gonna compete with the with the Mets or the you know obviously these are NL teams, but Mets and uh, and Dodgers. They are bad. San Diego. They they are the, overall, the NL teams yeah. are way better. Like, but really, like the only other competitive AL rotation I could think of off the top of my head is, is Cleveland and uh, White oh. Sox. Really, yeah, the only rotations that are like really sticking out to me. Cleveland is kind of left because a few guys have left, but I still think they have a good chance. I'll be honest. I, I think you that know. the Yankees can do something, bro. They I got think, Cole. I think, and, well, and they got, Cole, oh, and they Cole got, is um, super dominant. Corey Kluber, Corey Kluber if right. he returns to form, Luis Severino should be pitching a lot of innings this he coming year. He should be. Uh, um, he, we, they don't know yet, though. They have no idea whether he's coming back. And they back. also have another guy there who is like a juicy Take question. Tie on. Jamison Jam- Tyone. That's not the guy. It was they the, traded for him, but yeah, uh, they like, and that's oh, another, Mon- Mon- uh, Montgomery. That's the guy. Montgomery. That is the guy. Yeah. You know, so it's like I like I like their setup. You know, it's like if they yeah. can get a lot of innings out of Severino to return to form. Corey Kluber has obviously like I mean Excuse Cy Young Cy upside. Young, yeah. Like yeah, they're, they're, and, and the Garrett rotation. Cole's got Cy Young upside. So the rotation's definitely better. Um, yeah, but like dominant. Yeah, they could be dominant. Uh, so White Sox, I can say easily that they're going to be dominant. Well, I, I'd, I'd say that the best three rotations in the league are, and in no particular order, Mets, Dodgers, Padres. Yeah, all in the NL, yeah, right? Yeah, so, exactly. And I mean, like, I'm know. glad it's over there, yeah. um, not over here, yeah. but eventually we probably mm. need to deal with well, it. Well, by the time we get there, it, you know, like we've been saying, 2024, right? So by the time 2024 rolls around, that's when I want that rotation. That's when I want those... You know, signing the Walker types at the back half, filling up the rotation yeah, like that. That is, that is very true. You know, yeah. I one thing too uh, before we before we cap this guy off. Yeah. That, uh, like, and I thought about this in the shower this morning. I was like, <laughs> oh no, was that Ryu isn't going to be around forever? You know, right. and and will Ryu still be pitching at an elite level in twenty twenty four? Because that's, that's going to no be, idea. we have no idea, <laughs> no you know, idea. and it's like, and that's one of those things where it's like, I like whenever I think about our rotation and I think about it for the future, I'm like, well, at least we have that number one spot locked down. Mm-hmm. We might not in two years or three years. It, it's got to then develop to Pearson, SWR, mm-hmm. maybe Kloffenstein. Maybe Kloffenstein. You know, maybe Kloffenstein, <laughs> right? <laughs> Shout out Kloffenstein. Um, and then some acquisitions, you know. So the rotation could look completely different in two years. Probably. You know what I mean? It it's, probably will. You know, Ryu's going to still be there, obviously, um, unless injury. Uh, but it, Pearson should still be there as well. But the back half three, who knows? Yeah. Tough who, to say. Tough to, tough to plan that deep into so, the future. Yeah. So cool. That's that's Taiwan Walker reaction to signing to the Mets uh, and also about the Blue Jays. What could this mean? What does it mean for the rotation? Guys, let us know in the comments down below. Who do you want to see pitching that back half of the rotation? What are some guys that you'd like to see get a chance? Let us know in the comments down below. Yeah, guys, you can check us out on Spotify, Breaker, Anchor Radio, Public, and Google Podcasts. Also, make sure to check us out on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok and Relevant. And, <laughs> and check out our merch. And subscribe to the channel. Subscribe and to the channel. Like the channel. And, and pro- use our code. Use promo code. code. Promo code. Use Today Jays. Today Jays. You can get Jays. up Jays. to 100% of Today your Jays. money back up to $50. That's right. That's First right. deposit. Use Today Jays. Today Jays. Today Jays. <laughs> you're using our code and you're subscribing. You're doing all the stuffs. And also, also too, um, what, buy that? our merch. We already said that. We already that. said that. Yeah, I think, I think 
Oh, Patreon. Come Get on, on the, the show. Patreon. Come Get on, on the, the Patreon. show. Come, Come on, on the show. show and talk to us. <laughs> and um, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Is that it? That, that, that's, that's it, yeah. Go, Jays, go. Yeah.